Deuteronomy chapters 1 to 34. Chapter 1, Beginning the Covenant. 1. These are the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel on the side of Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against Suf, between Pran and Tophel, and Laban, and Hezeroth, and Dizahab. 2. There are eleven days' journey from Horeb by the way of Mount Seir unto Kadesh Barnea. 3. And it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spoke unto the children of Israel, according unto all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them. For after he had slain Sihon the king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and Og the king of Bashan, who dwelt at Astaroth in Edre, five on the side of Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law, saying, From Mount Sinai to Kadesh. 6. The Lord our God spoke unto us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough in this mount, 7. Turn you, and take your journey, and go to the mount of the Amorites, and unto all the places near there, in the plain, in the hills, and in the lowland, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. 8. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their descendants after them. 9. And I spoke unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. 10. The Lord your God has multiplied you, and, behold, you are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. 11. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more than you are, and bless you, as he has promised you. 12. How can I myself alone bear your weight, and your burden, and your strife? 13. Take you wise men, and understanding, and known among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. 14. And you answered me, and said, The thing which you have spoken is good for us to do. 15. So I took the heads of your tribes, wise men, unknown, and made them heads over you, captains over thousands, and captains over hundreds, and captains over fifties, and captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. 16. And I charged your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren, and judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is with him. 17. You shall not respect persons in judgment, but you shall hear the small as well as the great. You shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's, and the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. 18. And I commanded you at that time all the things which you should do. At Kadesh. 19. And when we departed from Horeb, we went through all that great and terrible wilderness, which you saw by the way of the mountain of the Amorites, as the Lord our God commanded us, and we came to Kadesh Barnea. 20. And I said unto you, You are come unto the mountain of the Amorites, which the Lord our God does give unto us. 21. Behold, the Lord your God has set the land before you. Go up and possess it, as the Lord God of your fathers has said unto you, Fear not, neither be discouraged. 22 And you came near unto me every one of you, and said, We will send men before us, and they shall search us out the land, and bring us word again by what way we must go up, and into what cities we shall come. 23 And the saying pleased me well, and I took twelve men of you, one of each tribe, 24 And they turned and went up into the mountain, and came unto the valley of Ishkol, and searched it out. 25 And they took up the fruit of the land in their hands, and brought it down unto us, and brought us word again, and said, It is a good land which the Lord our God does give us. 26 Nevertheless you would not go up, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God. 27 And you murmured in your tents, and said, Because the Lord hated us, he has brought us forth out of the land of Egypt, to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us. 28 Where shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our heart, saying, The people are greater and taller than we, the cities are great and walled up to heaven, and moreover we have seen the sons of the Anakim there. 29 Then I said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. 30 The Lord your God who goes before you, he shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. 31 And in the wilderness, where you have seen how that the Lord your God bore you, as a man does bear his son, in all the way that you went, until you came into this place. 32 Yet in this thing you did not believe the Lord your God, 33 who went in the way before you, 
to search you out a place to pitch your tents in, in fire by night, to show you by what way you should go, and in a cloud by day. 34 And the Lord heard the sound of your words, and was angry, and swore, saying, 35 Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see that good land, which I swore to give unto your fathers, 36 Except Caleb the son of Jephunneh, he shall see it, and to him will I give the land that he has trodden upon, and to his children, because he has wholly followed the Lord. 37 Also the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, saying, You also shall not go in there. 38 But Joshua the son of Nun, who stands before you, he shall go in there, encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. 39 Moreover your little ones, who you said should be a prey, and your children, who in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in there, and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. 40 But as for you, turn you, and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. 41 Then you answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord, we will go up and fight, according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. And when you had girded on every man his weapons of war, you were ready to go up into the hill. 42 And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest you be smitten before your enemies. 43 So I spoke unto you, and you would not hear, but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord, and went presumptuously up into the hill. 44 And the Amorites, who dwelt in that mountain, came out against you, and chased you, as bees do, and destroyed you in Seth, even unto Homer. 45 And you returned and wept before the Lord, but the Lord would not hearken to your voice, nor give ear unto you. 46 So you abode in Kadesh many days, according unto the days that you abode there. Chapter 2 Meddle not with Adam. 1 Then we turned, and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spoke unto me, and we went around Mount Seir many days. 2 And the Lord spoke unto me, saying, 3 You have gone around this mountain long enough, turn northward. 4 And command the people, saying, You are to pass through the territory of your brethren the children of Esau, who dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you, take your good heed unto yourselves therefore. 5. Meddle not with them, for I will not give you any of their land, no, not so much as one footstep, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. 6. You shall buy food from them for money, that you may eat, and you shall also buy water from them for money, that you may drink. 7. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the works of your hand, he knows you're walking through this great wilderness, these forty years the Lord your God has been with you, you have lacked nothing. 8 And when we passed by away from our brethren the children of Esau, who dwelt in Seir, through the way of the plain from Elith, and from Ezeanjba, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. Distress not the Moabites. 9 And the Lord said unto me, Distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle, for I will not give you their land for a possession, because I have given her unto the children of Lot for a possession. 10 The Emim dwelt there in times past, a people great, and many, and tall, as the Anakim, 11 who also were considered giants, as the Anakim, but the Moabites called them Emim. 12 The Harites also dwelt in Seir formerly, but the children of Esau succeeded them, when they had destroyed them from before them, and dwelt in their stead, as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which the Lord gave unto them. 13 Now rise up, said the Lord, and get over the brook Zered. And we went over the brook Zered. 14 And the time in which we came from Kadesh Banya, until we were come over the brook Zered, was thirty and eight years, until all the generation of the men of war were perished from among the camp as the Lord swore unto them. 15 For indeed the hand of the Lord was against them, to destroy them from the midst of the camp, until they were consumed. Distress not the Ammon. 16 So it came to pass, when all the men of war were perished and dead from among the people, 17 That the Lord spoke unto me, saying, 18 You are to pass over through her, the boundary of Moab, this day, 19 And when you come near the border of the children of Ammon, distress them not, nor meddle with them, for I will not give you of the land of the children of Ammon any possession, because I have given it unto the children of Lot for a possession. 20. That also was regarded as a land of giants. Giants dwelt there formerly, and the Ammonites called them Zamzumim, 
21 a people great, and many, and tall as the Anakim, but the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them, and dwelt in their stead, 22 as he did to the children of Esau, who dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Harites from before them, and they succeeded them, and dwelt in their stead even unto this day, 23 and the Avim who dwelt in villages as far as Gaza, the Kaptorim, who came forth out of Kaptor, destroyed them, and dwelt in their stead. The Conquest of Sihon 24 Rise up, take your journey, and pass over the river Anan. Behold, I have given into your hand Sihon the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land, begin to possess it, and contend with him in battle. 25 This day will I begin to put the dread of you and the fear of you upon the nations that are under the whole heaven, who shall hear reports of you, and shall tremble, and be in anguish because of you. 26 And I sent messengers out of the wilderness of Kedemoth unto Sihon king of Heshbon with words of peace, saying, 27 Let me pass through your land, I will go along by the highway, I will neither turn unto the right hand nor to the left. 28 You shall sell me food for money, that I may eat, and give me water for money, that I may drink, only I will pass through on my feet. 29 As the children of Esau who dwell in Seir, and the Moabites who dwell in Ur, did unto me winking face, until I shall pass over Jordan into the land which the Lord our God gives us. 30 But Sihon king of Heshbon would not let us pass by him, for the Lord your God hardened his spirit, and made his heart obstinate, that he might deliver him into your hand, as it is this day. 31 And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have begun to give Sihon and his land before you, begin to possess, that you may inherit his land. 32 Then Sihon came out against us, he and all his people, to fight at Jahaz. 33 And the Lord our God delivered him before us, and we defeated him, and his sons, and all his people. 34 And we took all his cities at that time, and utterly destroyed the men, and the women, and the little ones, of every city, we left none to remain, 35 Only the cattle we took for a prey unto ourselves, and the spoil of the cities which we took. 36 From Aroa, which is by the bank of the river of Anan, and from the city that is by the river, even unto Gilead, there was not one city too strong for us, the Lord our God delivered all unto us, 37 Only unto the land of the children of Ammon you came not, nor unto any place of the river Jabbok, nor unto the cities in the mountains, nor unto whatsoever the Lord our God forbade us. Chapter 3 The Conquest of Og 1 Then we turned, and went up the way to Bashan, and Og the king of Bashan came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edre. 2 And the Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him, and all his people, and his land, into your hand, and you shall do unto him as you did unto Sihon king of the Amorites, who dwelt at Heshbon. 3 So the Lord our God delivered into our hands Og also, the king of Bashan, and all his people, and we struck him until none was left to him remaining. 4 And we took all his cities at that time, there was not a city which we took not from them, three score cities, all the region of Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. 5 All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars, besides unwalled towns a great many. 6 And we utterly destroyed them, as we did unto Sihon king of Heshbon, utterly destroying the men, women, and children of every city. 7 But all the cattle, and the spoil of the cities, we took for a prey to ourselves. 8 And we took at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites the land that was on the side of Jordan, from the river of Anan unto Mount Hermon, 9, which Hermon the Sidonians call Syrian, and the Amorites call it Senior winking face 10 all the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, unto Selekar and Edre, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan. 11 for only Og king of Bashan remained of the remnant of giants, behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron, is it not in Rabbar of the children of Ammon? 9 cubits was the length thereof, and 4 cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. Land given to two and a half tribes. Twelve and thus land, which we possessed at that time, from Aroa, which is by the river Anan, and half the mountains of Gilead, and the cities thereof, gave I unto the Reubenites and to the Gadites. Thirteen and the rest of Gilead, and all Bashan, being the kingdom of Og, gave I unto the half tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Argog, with all Bashan, which was called the land of giants. 
14 Jair the son of Manasseh took all the country of Agob unto the border of the Geshurites and the Makathites, and called them after his own name, Bashan Hibad Jair, unto this day. 15 And I gave Gilead unto Machir. 16 And unto the Reubenites and unto the Gadites I gave from Gilead even unto the river Anan half the valley, and the border even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. 17 The plain also, with the Jordan as the border thereof, from Chinnereth even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, under the slopes of Pisgah on the east. 18 And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess it, you shall pass over armed before your brethren the children of Israel, all that are fit for war. 19 But your wives, and your little ones, and your cattle, for I know that you have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you, 20 Until the Lord has given rest unto your brethren, as well as unto you, and until they also possess the land which the Lord your God has given them beyond the Jordan, and then shall you return every man unto his possession, which I have given you. Joshua succeeds Moses. 21 And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done unto these two kings, so shall the Lord do unto all the kingdoms through which you pass. 22 You shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, he shall fight for you. 23 And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, 24 O Lord God, you have begun to show your servant your greatness, and your mighty hand, for what God is there in heaven or in earth, that can do according to your works, and according to your might. 25 I pray you, let me go over, and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that pleasant mountain, and Lebanon. 26 But the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, and would not hear me, and the Lord said unto me, That is sufficient, speak no more unto me of this matter. 27 Get up into the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and behold it with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Jordan. 28 But charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which you shall see. 29 So we abode in the valley over against Bethpeor. Chapter 4 The Summary of the Covenant 1 Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments, which I teach you, to do them, that you may live, and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers gives you. 2 You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. 3 Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baalpur, for all the men that followed Baalpur, the Lord your God has destroyed them from among you. 4 But you that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive every one of you this day. 5 Behold, I have taught your statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do so in the land where you go to possess it. 6 Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes, and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. 7 For what nation is there so great? that has God so near unto them, as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. 8 And what nation is there so great, that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law, which I said before you this day. 9 Only take heed to yourself, and keep your soul diligently, lest you forget the things which your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. But teach them to your sons, and your sons' sons, ten especially the day that you stood before the Lord your God in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. 11 And you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire unto the midst of heaven, with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. 12 And the Lord spoke unto you out of the midst of the fire. You heard the voice of the words, but saw no form, only you heard a voice. 13 And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. 14 And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach your statutes and judgments, that you might do them in the land where you go over to possess it. 15 Take therefore good heed unto yourselves. For you saw no manner of form on the day that the Lord spoke unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire, 16 Lest you corrupt yourselves, and make you a graven image, 
the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, 17 the likeness of any animal that is on the earth, the likeness of any wind fowl that flies in the air, 18 the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth, 19 and lest you lift up your eyes unto heaven. And when you see the sun, and the moon, and the stars, even all the host of heaven, should be driven to worship them, and serve them, which the Lord your God has apportioned unto all nations under the whole heaven. 20 But the Lord has taken you, and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance, as you are this day. 21 Furthermore the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, and swore that I should not go over Jordan, and that I should not go in unto that good land, which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance. 22 But I must die in this land, I must not go over Jordan, but you shall go over, and possess that good land. 23 Take heed unto yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image, or the likeness of anything, which the Lord your God has forbidden you. 24 For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. 25 When you shall beget children, and children's children, and you shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves, and make a graven image, or the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord your God, to provoke him to anger. 26 I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that you shall soon utterly perish from off the land which you go over Jordan to possess, you shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. 27 And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and you shall be left few in number among the nations where the Lord shall lead you. 28 And there you shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. 29 But if from there you shall seek the Lord your God, you shall find him, if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. 30 When you are in tribulation, and all these things are come upon you, even in the latter days, if you turn to the Lord your God, and shall be obedient unto his voice, 31 For the Lord your God is a merciful God winking face, he will not forsake you, neither destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore unto them. 32 For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that God created man upon the earth, and ask from the one side of heaven unto the other, whether there has been any such thing as this great thing is, or has been heard anything like it. 33 Did ever people hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire, as you have heard, and live? 34 Or has God ever ventured to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation, by temptations, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by an outstretched arm, and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. 35 Unto you it was shown, that you might know that the Lord he is God, there is none else besides him. 36 Out of heaven he made you to hear his voice, that he might instruct you, and upon earth he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. 37 And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their descendants after them, and brought you out in his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt. 38 To drive out nations from before you greater and mightier than you are, to bring you in, to give you their land for an inheritance, as it is this day. 39 Know therefore this day, and consider it in your heart, that the Lord he is God in heaven above, and upon the earth beneath, there is none else. 40 You shall keep therefore his statutes, and his commandments, which I command you this day, that it may go well with you, and with your children after you, and that you may prolong your days upon the earth, which the Lord your God gives you, forever. 41 Then Moses set apart three cities on the side of Jordan toward the sun rising, 42 That the slayer might flee there, who should kill his neighbor unintentionally, and hated him not in times past, and that fleeing unto one of these cities he might live. 43 Namely, Bezer in the wilderness, in the plain country, for the Reubenites, and Ramoth in Gilead, for the Gadites, and Golan in Bashan, for the Manasites. Moses sets the law before the people. 44 And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. 45 These are the testimonies, and the statutes, and the judgments, which Moses spoke unto the children of Israel, after they came forth out of Egypt. 46 On the side of Jordan, in the valley opposite Beth Peor, in the land of Sihon king of the Amorites, 
who dwelt at Heshbon, whom Moses and the children of Israel defeated, after they were come forth out of Egypt, 47 and they possessed his land, and the land of Og king of Bashan, two kings of the Amorites, who were on the side of Jordan toward the sun rising, 48 from Aroa, which is by the bank of the river Anan, even unto Mount Sion, which is Hermon, 49 and all the plain on the side of Jordan eastward, even unto the sea of the plain, below the slopes of Pisgah. Chapter 5 The Setting of the Covenant 1 And Moses called all Israel, and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that you may learn them, and keep, and do them. Do the Lord our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. 3 The Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive this day. 4 The Lord talked with your face to face in the mount out of the midst of the fire. 5 I stood between the Lord and you at that time, to show you the word of the Lord, for you were afraid by reason of the fire, and went not up into the mount winking face, saying. Commandments of the Covenant 6 I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. 7 You shall have none other gods before me. 8 You shall not make you any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters beneath the earth. 9 You shall not bow down yourself unto them, nor serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. 10 And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. 11 You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. 12 Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, as the Lord your God has commanded you. 13 Six days you shall labor, and do all your work. 14 But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God, in it you shall not do any work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your cattle, nor your stranger that is within your gates, that your manservant and your maidservant may rest as well as you. 15 And remember that you were a servant in the land of Egypt, and that the Lord your God brought you out from there by a mighty hand and by an outstretched arm, therefore the Lord your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. 16 Honor your father and your mother, as the Lord your God has commanded you, that your days may be prolonged, and that it may go well with you, in the land which the Lord your God gives you. 17 You shall not kill. 18 Neither shall you commit adultery. 19 Neither shall you steal. 20 Neither shall you bear false witness against your neighbor. 21 Neither shall you desire your neighbor's wife, neither shall you covet your neighbor's house, his field, or his manservant, or his maidservant, his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. The Response of Israel 22 These words the Lord spoke unto all your assembly in the mount out of the midst of the fire, of the cloud, and of the thick darkness with a great voice, and he added no more. And he wrote them in two tables of stone, and delivered them unto me. 23 And it came to pass, when you heard the voice out of the midst of the darkness, for the mountain did burn with fire, that you came near unto me, even all the heads of your tribes, and your elders, 24 And you said, Behold, the Lord our God has showed us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that God does talk with man, and he lives. 25 Now therefore why should we die? For this great fire will consume us. If we hear the voice of the Lord our God any more, then we shall die. 26 For who is there of all flesh, that has heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire, as we have, unlived? 27 Go you near, and hear all that the Lord our God shall say, and speak you unto us all that the Lord our God shall speak unto you, and we will hear it, and do it. The Response of God 28 And the Lord heard the voice of your words, when you spoke unto me, and the Lord said unto me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken unto you, they have well said all that they have spoken. 29 O oh, that there was such a heart in them, that they would fear me, and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them, and with their children forever. 30 Go say to them, Get you into your tents again. 31 But as for you, stand you here by me, 
and I will speak unto you all the commandments, and the statutes, and the judgments which you shall teach them, that they may do them in the land which I give them to possess it. 32 You shall observe to do therefore as the Lord your God has commanded you, you shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. 33 You shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. Chapter 6 The Command to Teach the Law 1 Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that you might do them in the land where you go to possess it, to that you might fear the Lord your God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, you, and your son, and your son's son, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. 3 Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with you, and that you may increase mightily, as the Lord God of your fathers has promised you, in the land that flows with milk and honey. 4 Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, 5 And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. 6 And these words, which I command you this day, shall be in your heart. 7 And you shall teach them diligently unto your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. 8 And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. 9 And you shall write them upon the doorposts of your house and on your gates. 10 And it shall be, when the Lord your God shall have brought you into the land which he swore unto your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give your great and beautiful cities, which you built not, eleven and houses full of all good things, which you filled not, and wells dug, which you dug not, vineyards and olive trees, which you planted not, when you shall have eaten and be full. 12 Then beware lest you forget the Lord who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. 13 You shall fear the Lord your God, and serve him, and shall swear by his name. 14 You shall not go after other gods, of the gods of the people who are round about you. 15 For the Lord your God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord your God be kindled against you, and destroy you from off the face of the earth. 16 You shall not test the Lord your God, as you tested him in Massa. 17 You shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God, and his testimonies, and his statutes which he has commanded you. 18 And you shall do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with you, and that you may go in and possess the good land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. 19 To cast out all your enemies from before you, as the Lord has spoken. 20 And when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What mean the testimonies, and the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord our God has commanded you? 21 Then you shall say unto your son, We were Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. 22 And the Lord showed signs and wonders, great and grievous, upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household, before our eyes. 23 And he brought us out from there, that he might bring us in, to give us the land which he swore unto our fathers. 24 And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive, as it is at this day. 25 And it shall be righteousness for us, if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us. Chapter 7 The Command to Conquer Canaan 1. When the Lord your God shall bring you into the land to which you go to possess it, and has cast out many nations before you, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. 2. And when the Lord your God shall deliver them over to you, you shall strike them, and utterly destroy them, you shall make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. 3. Neither shall you make marriages with them. Your daughter you shall not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall you take unto your son. 4. For they will turn away your son from following me, that they may serve other gods, so will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and destroy you suddenly. 5. But thus shall you deal with them, you shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their idol poles, and burn their graven images with fire. 6. For you are a holy people unto the Lord your God 
The Lord your God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. 8. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, has the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. 9. Know therefore that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, ten and repays them that hate him to their face, to destroy them, he will not be slack to him that hates him, he will repay him to his face. 11. You shall therefore keep the commandments, and the statutes, and the judgments, which I command you this day, to do them. 12. Therefore it shall come to pass, if you hearken to these judgments, and keep, and do them, that the Lord your God shall keep with you the covenant and the mercy which he swore unto your fathers. 13. And he will love you, and bless you, and multiply you, he will also bless the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your land, your grain, and your wine, and your oil, the increase of your cattle, and the flocks of your sheep, in the land which he swore unto your fathers to give you. 14. You shall be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. 15. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you know, upon you, but will lay them upon all them that hate you. 16. And you shall consume all the people whom the Lord your God shall deliver you, your eye shall have no pity upon them, neither shall you serve their gods, for that will be a snare unto you. 17. If you shall say in your heart, these nations are more than I, how can I dispossess them? 18. You shall not be afraid of them, but shall well remember what the Lord your God did unto Pharaoh, and unto all Egypt. 19. The great trials which your eyes saw, and the signs, and the wonders, and the mighty hand, and the outstretched arm, whereby the Lord your God brought you out, so shall the Lord your God do unto all the people of whom you are afraid. 20. Moreover the Lord your God will send the hornet among them, until they that are left, and hide themselves from you, be destroyed. 21. You shall not be frightened by them, for the Lord your God is among you, a mighty God and terrible. 22. And the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you little by little. You may not consume them at once, lest the wild animals of the field become too numerous for you. 23. But the Lord your God shall deliver them unto you, and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction, until they are destroyed. 24. And he shall deliver their kings into your hand, and you shall destroy their name from under heaven. There shall no man be able to stand before you, until you have destroyed them. 25. The graven images of their gods shall you burn with fire. You shall not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto you, lest you be snared by it, for it is an abomination to the Lord your God. 26. Neither shall you bring an abomination into your house, lest you become an accursed thing like it. But you shall utterly detest it, and you shall utterly abhor it, for it is an accursed thing. Chapter 8 The Command to Remember the Lord 1. All the commandments which I command you this day shall you observe to do, that you may live, and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. 2. And you shall remember all the way which the Lord your God led you these forty years in the wilderness to humble you, and to test you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments, or not. 3. And he humbled you, and allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna, which you knew not, neither did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord does man live. 4. Your clothing grew not old upon you, neither did your foot swell, these forty years. 5. You shall also consider in your heart, that, as a man chastens his son, so the Lord your God chastens you. 6. Therefore you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and to fear him. 7. For the Lord your God brings you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, 8. A land of wheat, and barley, and vines, and fig trees, and pomegranates, a land of olive oil, and honey, 9. A land in which you shall eat bread without scarceness, you shall not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you may dig copper. 10. When you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. 
11 Beware that you forget not the Lord your God, in not keeping His commandments, and His judgments, and His statutes, which I command you this day. 12 Lest when you have eaten and are full, and have built fine houses, and dwelt in them. 13 And when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold as multiplied, and all that you have as multiplied. 14 Then your heart be lifted up, and you forget the Lord your God, who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. 15 Who led you through that great and terrible wilderness, in which were fiery serpents, and scorpions, and thirsty land, where there was no water, who brought your forth water out of the rock of flint, 16 Who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers knew not, that he might humble you, and that he might test you, to do you good in the end, 17 And you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand has gotten me thus wealth. 18 But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto your fathers, as it is this day. 19 And it shall be, if you do at all forget the Lord your God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day that you shall surely perish. 20 As the nations which the Lord destroys before your face, so shall you perish, because you would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. Chapter 9 Moses recounts the rebellion of Israel. 1 Here, O Israel, you are to pass over Jordan this day, to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than yourself, cities great and fortified up to heaven, to a people great and tall, the children of the Anakim, whom you know, and of whom you have heard say, who can stand before the children of Anak. 3 Understand therefore this day, that the Lord your God is he who goes over before you, as a consuming fire he shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before your face, so shall you drive them out, and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said unto you. 4 Speak not you in your heart, after that the Lord your God has cast them out from before you, saying, For my righteousness the Lord has brought me in to possess this land, but for the wickedness of these nations the Lord does drive them out from before you. 5 Not for your righteousness, or for the uprightness of your heart, do you go to possess their land, but for the wickedness of these nations the Lord your God does drive them out from before you, and that he may perform the word which the Lord swore unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 6. Understand therefore, that the Lord your God gives you not this good land to possess it for your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. 7. Remember, and forget not, how you provoked the Lord your God to wrath in the wilderness, from the day that you did depart out of the land of Egypt. Until you came unto this place, you have been rebellious against the Lord. 8. Also in Horeb you provoked the Lord to wrath, so that the Lord was angry with you to have destroyed you. 9. When I was gone up into the mount to receive the tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant which the Lord made with you, then I abode in the mount forty days and forty nights, I neither did eat bread nor drink water, 10 And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone written with the finger of God, and on them was written according to all the words which the Lord spoke with you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. 11 And it came to pass at the end of forty days and forty nights, that the Lord gave me the two tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant. 12 And the Lord said unto me, Arise, get you down quickly from here. For your people whom you have brought forth out of Egypt have corrupted themselves, they have quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them, they have made them a molten image. 13 Furthermore the Lord spoke unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and, behold, it is a stiff-necked people. 14 Let me alone, that I may destroy them, and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make of you a nation mightier and greater than they. 15 So I turned and came down from the mount, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. 16 And I looked, and, behold, you had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a molten calf, you had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. 17 And I took the two tables, and cast them out of my two hands, and broke them before your eyes. 18 And I fell down before the Lord, as at the first forty days and forty nights, I did neither eat bread, nor drink water, because of all your sins which you sinned, in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. 19 For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure, with which the Lord was angry with you to destroy you. 
But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. 20 And the Lord was very angry with Aaron and would have destroyed him, and I prayed for Aaron also the same time. 21 And I took your sin, the calf which you had made, and burned it with fire, and crushed it, and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust, and I cast the dust of it into the brook that descended out of the mount. 22 And at Taborah, and at Massa, and at Kibroth at Tower, you provoked the Lord to wrath. 23 Likewise when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Banya, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and you believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. 24 You have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. 25 Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, as I fell down at the first, because the Lord had said he would destroy you. 26 I prayed therefore unto the Lord, and said, O Lord God, destroy not your people in your inheritance, which you have redeemed through your greatness, which you have brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. 27 Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin. 28 Lest the land from which you brought us out should say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he has brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. 29 Yet they are your people in your inheritance, which you brought out by your mighty power and by your outstretched arm. Chapter 10 Moses recounts the mercy of God. 1 At that time the Lord said unto me, You yourself two tables of stone like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make an ark of wood. 2 And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. 3 And I made an ark of acacia wood, and hewed two tables of stone like unto the first, and went up into the mount, having the two tables in my hand. 4 And he wrote on the tables, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which the Lord spoke unto you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly, and the Lord gave them unto me. 5 And I turned myself and came down from the mount, and put the tables in the ark which I had made, and there they are, as the Lord commanded me. 6 And the children of Israel took their journey from Beeroth Benijakan to Moserah. There Aaron died, and there he was buried, and Eleazar his son ministered in the priest's office in his stead. 7 From there they journeyed unto Gudgoda, and from Gudgoda to Jodbatha, a land of rivers of waters. 8 At that time the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi, to bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord to minister unto him, and to bless in his name, unto this day. 9 Therefore Levi has no part nor inheritance with his brethren, the Lord is his inheritance, according as the Lord your God promised him. 10 And I stayed in the mount, the same as the first time, forty days and forty nights, and the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also, and the Lord would not destroy you. 11 And the Lord said unto me, Arise, take your journey before the people, that they may go in and possess the land, which I swore unto their fathers to give unto them. Love God. 12 And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you, but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. 13 To keep the commandments of the Lord, and his statutes, which I command you this day for your good. 14 Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens as the Lord's your God, the earth also, with all that is in it. 15 Only the Lord had a delight in your fathers to love them, and he chose their descendants after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. 16 Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. 17 For the Lord your God is God of gods, and Lord of lords, a great God, mighty, and awesome, who regards not persons, nor takes reward. 18 He executes justice for the fatherless and widow, and loves the stranger, in giving him food and clothing. 19 Love your therefore the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. 20 You shall fear the Lord your God, him shall you serve, and to him shall you cleave, and swear by his name. 21 He is your praise, and he is your God, who has done for you these great and awesome things, which your eyes have seen. 22 Your fathers went down into Egypt with threescore and ten persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as the stars of heaven for multitude. Chapter 11 Observe and Keep the Commandments
One therefore you shall love the Lord your God, and keep his charge, and his statutes, and his judgments, and his commandments, always. Do and know your this day, for I speak not with your children who have not known, and who have not seen the chastisement of the Lord your God, his greatness, his mighty hand, and his outstretched arm, three and his miracles, and his acts, which he did in the midst of Egypt unto Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and unto all his land, four and what he did unto the army of Egypt, unto their horses, unto their chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you, and how the Lord has destroyed them unto this day. 5 And what he did unto you in the wilderness, until you came into this place, 6 And what he did unto Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth, and swallowed them up, and their households, and their tents, and all the substance that was in their possession, in the midst of all Israel, 7 But your eyes have seen all the great acts of the Lord which he did. 8 Therefore shall you keep all the commandments which I command you this day, that you may be strong, and go in and possess the land, wherever you go to possess it, 9 And that you may prolong your days in the land, which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give unto them and to their descendants, a land that flows with milk and honey. 10 For the land, where you go in to possess it, is not as the land of Egypt, from where you came out, where you sowed your seed, and watered it with your foot, as a garden of herbs, 11 But the land, where you go to possess it, is a land of hills and valleys, and drinks water from the rain of heaven, 12 A land which the Lord your God cares for, the eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it, from the beginning of the year even unto the end of the year. 13 And it shall come to pass, if you shall hearken diligently unto my commandments which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, 14 That I will give you the rain of your land in its due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, and your wine, and your oil. 15 And I will send grass in your fields for your cattle, that you may eat and be full. 16 Take heed to yourselves, that your heart be not deceived, and you turn aside, and serve other gods, and worship them. 17 And then the Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut up the heaven, that there be no rain, and that the land yield not her fruit, and lest you perish quickly from off the good land which the Lord gives you. 18 Therefore shall you lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. 19 And you shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. 20 And you shall write them upon the doorposts of your house, and upon your gates. 21 That your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children, in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give them, as the days of heaven upon the earth. Blessings of Victory for Obedience 22 For if you shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you, to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto him, 23 Then will the Lord drive out all these nations from before you, and you shall possess nations greater and mightier than yourselves. 24 Every place on which the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even unto the western sea shall your territory be. 25 There shall no man be able to stand before you, for the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that you shall tread upon, as he has said unto you. 26 Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse, 27 A blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. 28 And a curse, if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day, to go after other gods, which you have not known. 29 And it shall come to pass, when the Lord your God has brought you in unto the land where you go to possess it, that you shall put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim, and the curse upon Mount Abel. 30 Are they not on the other side of Jordan, by the way where the sun goes down, in the land of the Canaanites, who dwell in the plain opposite Gilgal, beside the oaks of Moray? 31 For you shall pass over Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God gives you, and you shall possess it, and dwell therein. 32 And you shall observe to do all the statutes and judgments which I said before you this day. Chapter 12 Law of the Central Sanctuary
One, these are the statutes and judgments which you shall observe to do in the land, which the Lord God of your fathers gives you to possess all the days that you live upon the earth. Two, you shall utterly destroy all the places in which the nations which you shall possess served their gods, upon the high mountains, and upon the hills, and under every green tree. Three, and you shall overthrow their altars, and break their stone idols, and burn their idol poles with fire, and you shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. Four, you shall not do so unto the Lord your God. Five, but unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his dwelling place shall you seek, and there you shall come. Six, and there you shall bring your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and heave offerings of your hand, and your vowed offerings, and your freewill offerings, and the firstlings of your herds and of your flocks. Seven, and there you shall eat before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice in all that you put your hand unto. You and your households, in which the Lord your God has blessed you. Eight, you shall not do according to all the things that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. Nine, for you are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God gives you. Ten, but when you go over Jordan, and dwell in the land which the Lord your God gives you to inherit, and when he gives you rest from all your enemies round about, so that you dwell in safety, 11 Then there shall be a place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there, there shall you bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, your tithes, and the heave offering of your hand, and all your choice offerings which you vow unto the Lord, 12 When you shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you, and your sons, and your daughters, and your men servants, and your maidservants, and the Levite that is within your gates, for as much as he has no part nor inheritance with you. 13. Take heed to yourself that you offer not your burnt offerings in every place that you see. 14. But in the place which the Lord shall choose in one of your tribes, there you shall offer your burnt offerings, and there you shall do all that I command you. 15. Nevertheless you may kill and eat flesh in all your gates, whatsoever your soul desires, according to the blessing of the Lord your God which he has given you, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the gazelle, and as of the heart. 16. Only you shall not eat the blood, you shall pour it upon the earth as water. 17. You may not eat within your gates the tithe of your grain, or of your wine, or of your oil, or the firstlings of your herds or of your flock, nor any of your offerings which you vow, nor your freewill offerings, or heave offering of your hand. 18. But you must eat them before the Lord your God in the place which the Lord your God shall choose, you, and your son, and your daughter, and your manservant, and your maidservant, and the Levite that is within your gates, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your God in all that you put your hands unto. 19. Take heed to yourself that you forsake not the Levite as long as you live upon the earth. 20. When the Lord your God shall enlarge your border, as he has promised you, and you shall say, I will eat flesh, because your soul longs to eat flesh, you may eat flesh, whatsoever your soul desires. 21. If the place which the Lord your God has chosen to put his name there is too far from you, then you shall kill off your herd and of your flock, which the Lord has given you, as I have commanded you, and you shall eat in your gates whatsoever your soul desires. 22. Even as the gazelle and the heart is eaten, so you shall eat them, the unclean and the clean shall eat of them alike. 23. Only be sure that you eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and you may not eat the life with the flesh. 24. You shall not eat it, you shall pour it upon the earth as water. 25. You shall not eat it, that it may go well with you, and with your children after you, when you shall do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. 26. Only your holy things which you have, and your vowed offerings, you shall take, and go unto the place which the Lord shall choose. 27. And you shall offer your burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood, upon the altar of the Lord your God, and the blood of your sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of the Lord your God, and you shall eat the flesh. 28. Observe and hear all these words which I command you, that it may go well with you, and with your children after you forever, when you do that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord your God. Law of Idolatry 29. When the Lord your God shall cut off the nations from before you, where you go to possess them, and you displace them, and dwell in their land, 30. Take heed to yourself that you are not snared by following them, after they are destroyed from before you, and that you inquire not after their gods, 
saying, How do these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. 31 You shall not do so unto the Lord your God, for every abomination to the Lord, which he hates, have they done unto their gods, for even their sons and their daughters they have burned in the fire to their gods. 32 Whatsoever thing I command you, observe to do it, you shall not add thereto, nor take away from it. Chapter 13 Punishment of Apostates 1. If there arise among you a prophet, or a dreamer of dreams, and gives you a sign or a wonder, to and the sign or the wonder comes to pass, of which he spoke unto you, and he says, Let us go after other gods, which you have not known, and let us serve them. 3. You shall not hearken unto the words of that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you, to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. 4. You shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and you shall serve him, and cleave unto him. 5. And that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, shall be put to death, because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, to thrust you out of the way which the Lord your God commanded you to walk in. So shall you put the evil away from the midst of you. 6. If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son, or your daughter, or the wife of your bosom, or your friend, who is as your own soul, entices you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which you have not known, you, nor your fathers, seven namely, of the gods of the people who are round about you, near unto you, or far off from you, from the one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth, eight you shall not yield unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall your eye pity him. Neither shall you spare, neither shall you conceal him, nine but you shall surely kill him, your hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. Ten and you shall stone him with stones, that he die, because he has sought to thrust you away from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Eleven and all Israel shall hear, and fear, and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. 12. If you shall hear in one of your cities, which the Lord your God has given you to dwell there, and even saying, Thirteen certain men, worthless fellows, are gone out from among you, and have drawn away the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which you have not known. 14. Then shall you inquire, and make search, and ask diligently, and, behold, if it be truth, and the thing certain, that such abomination is wrought among you, fifteen you shall surely strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, and all that is in it, and the cattle thereof, with the edge of the sword. Sixteen and you shall gather all the spoil of it into the midst of its street, and shall burn with fire the city, and all the spoil thereof, unto the Lord your God, and it shall be a heap forever, it shall not be built again. 17 And there shall cleave none of the accursed thing to your hand, that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger, and show you mercy, and have compassion upon you, and multiply you, as he has sworn unto your fathers. 18 When you shall hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, to keep all his commandments which I command you this day, to do that which is right in the eyes of the Lord your God. Chapter 14 Law of Diet 1. You are the children of the Lord your God. You shall not cut yourselves, nor make any bald place on your foreheads for the dead. 2. For you are a holy people unto the Lord your God, and the Lord has chosen you to be a peculiar people unto himself, above all the nations that are upon the earth. 3. You shall not eat any abominable thing. 4. These are the animals which you shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, 5. The hare, and the gazelle, and the roebuck, and the wild goat, and the ibex, and the antelope, and the mountain sheep. 6. And every animal that parts the hoof, and has the hoof split in two, and chews the cud among the animals that you shall eat. 7. Nevertheless these you shall not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that have cloven hooves, as the camel, and the hare, and the rock badger, for they chew the cud, but divide not the hoof, therefore they are unclean unto you. 8. And the swine, because it divides the hoof, yet choose not the cud, it is unclean unto you, you shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. 9. These you shall eat of all that are in the waters. All that have fins and scales shall you eat. 10. And whatsoever has not fins and scales you may not eat, it is unclean unto you. 11. Of all clean birds you shall eat.
12 but these are they of which you shall not eat, the eagle, and the vulture, and the osprey, 13 and the buzzard, and the falcon, and the kite after their kinds, 14 and every raven after its kind, 15 and the ostrich, and the night hawk, and the sea gull, and the hawk after their kinds, 16 the little owl, and the great owl, and the water hen, 17 and the pelican, and the carrion vulture, and the cormorant, 18 and the stork, and the heron after its kind, and the hoopoe, and the bat. 19 and every winged insect is unclean unto you, they shall not be eaten. 20 but of all clean fowls you may eat. 21 you shall not eat of anything that dies of itself. You shall give it unto the stranger that is in your gates, that he may eat it, or you may sell it unto a foreigner, for you are a holy people unto the Lord your God. You shall not boil a kid in its mother's milk. Law of Tides 22 You shall truly tithe all the increase of your seed, that the field brings forth year by year. 23 And you shall eat before the Lord your God, in the place which he shall choose to place his name there the tithe of your grain, of your wine, and of your oil, and the firstlings of your herds and of your flocks, that you may learn to fear the Lord your God always. 24 And if the way is too long for you, so that you are not able to carry it, or if the place is too far from you, which the Lord your God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord your God has blessed you, 25 Then shall you turn it into money, and bind up the money in your hand, and shall go unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose. 26 And you shall bestow that money for whatsoever your soul desires, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatsoever your soul desires. And you shall eat there before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice, you and your household. 27 And the Levite that is within your gates, you shall not forsake him, for he has no part nor inheritance with you. 28 At the end of three years you shall bring forth all the tithe of your increase the same year and shall lay it up within your gates, 29 and the Levite, because he has no part nor inheritance with you, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow, who are within your gates, shall come, and shall eat and be satisfied, that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hand which you do. Chapter 15, Law of the Deaths 1. At the end of every seven years you shall make a release. 2. And this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lends anything unto his neighbor shall release it, he shall not exact it of his neighbor, or of his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. 3. Of a foreigner you may exact it again, but that which you lend to your brother your hand shall release, for except when there shall be no poor among you, for the Lord shall greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance to possess it, 5. Only if you carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God, to observe to do all these commandments which I command you this day. 6. For the Lord your God blesses you, as he promised you, and you shall lend unto many nations, but you shall not borrow, and you shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. 7. If there be among you a poor man of one of your brethren within any of your gates in your land which the Lord your God gives you, you shall not harden your heart, nor shut your hand from your poor brother, aid but you shall open your hand wide unto him, and shall surely lend him sufficient for his need, in that which he lacks. 9. Beware that there be not a thought in your wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is at hand, and your eye be evil against your poor brother, and you give him nothing, and he cries unto the Lord against you, and it be sin in you. Then you shall surely give to him, and your heart shall not be grieved when you give unto him, because for this thing the Lord your God shall bless you in all your works, and in all that you put your hand unto. 11 For the poor shall never cease out of the land, therefore I command you, saying, You shall open your hand wide unto your brother, to your poor, unto your needy, in your land. Law of the Slaves 12 And if your brother, a Hebrew man, or a Hebrew woman, be sold unto you, and serve you six years, then in the seventh year you shall let him go free from you. 13 And when you send him out free from you, you shall not let him go away empty. 14 You shall furnish him liberally out of your flock, and out of your threshing floor, and out of your winepress, of that with which the Lord your God has blessed you you shall give unto him. 15 And you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you, therefore I command you this thing today. 16 And it shall be, if he say unto you, I will not go away from you, 
because he loves you and your house, because he fares well with you. 17 Then you shall take an awl, and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be your servant forever. And also unto your maidservant you shall do likewise. 18 It shall not seem hard unto you, when you send him away free from you, for he has been worth a double hired servant to you, in serving your six years, and the Lord your God shall bless you in all that you do. Law of the Firstborn 19 All the firstborn males that come of your herd and of your flock you shall sanctify unto the Lord your God, you shall do no work with the firstborn of your bullock, nor share the firstborn of your sheep. 20 You shall eat it before the Lord your God year by year in the place which the Lord shall choose, you and your household. 21 And if there be any blemish in it, as if it be lame, or blind, or have any ill blemish, you shall not sacrifice it unto the Lord your God. 22 You shall eat it within your gates, the unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the gazelle, and as the heart. 23 Only you shall not eat the blood thereof, you shall pour it upon the ground as water. Chapter 16, Law of the Feasts 1. Observe the month of Abib, and keep the Passover unto the Lord your God, for in the month of Abib the Lord your God brought you forth out of Egypt by night. 2. You shall therefore sacrifice the Passover unto the Lord your God, of the flock and the herd, in the place which the Lord shall choose to place his name there. 3. You shall eat no leavened bread with it, seven days shall you eat unleavened bread with it, even the bread of affliction. For you came forth out of the land of Egypt in haste, that you may remember the day when you came forth out of the land of Egypt all the days of your life. 4. And there shall be no leavened bread seen with you in all your territory seven days, neither shall there any part of the flesh, which you sacrificed the first day at evening, remain all night until the morning. 5. You may not sacrifice the Passover within any of your gates, which the Lord your God gives you. 6. But at the place which the Lord your God shall choose to place his name in, there you shall sacrifice the Passover at evening, at the going down of the sun, at the time that you came forth out of Egypt. 7. And you shall roast and eat it in the place which the Lord your God shall choose, and you shall turn in the morning, and go unto your tents. 8. Six days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to the Lord your God, you shall do no work therein. 9. Seven weeks shall your number unto you, begin to number the seven weeks from such time as you begin to put the sickle to the grain. 10. And you shall keep the feast of weeks unto the Lord your God with a tribute of a freewill offering of your hand, which you shall give unto the Lord your God, according as the Lord your God has blessed you. 11. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you, and your son, and your daughter, and your manservant, and your maidservant, and the Levite that is within your gates, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow that are among you, in the place which the Lord your God has chosen to place his name there. 12. When you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and you shall observe and do these statutes. 13. You shall observe the Feast of Tabernacles seven days, after that you have gathered in your grain and your wine. 14. And you shall rejoice in your feast, you, and your son, and your daughter, and your manservant, and your maidservant, and the Levite, the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow, that are within your gates. 15. Seven days shall you keep a solemn feast unto the Lord your God in the place which the Lord shall choose, because the Lord your God shall bless you in all your increase, and in all the works of your hands, therefore you shall surely rejoice. 16. Three times in a year shall all your males appear before the Lord your God in the place which he shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, and in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tabernacles and they shall not appear before the Lord empty, seventeen every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God which he has given you. Law of Judges 18 Judges and officers shall you make in all your gates, which the Lord your God gives you, throughout your tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. 19 You shall not pervert judgment, you shall not show partiality, neither take a bribe, for a bribe does blind the eyes of the wise, and pervert the words of the righteous. 20. That which is altogether just shall you follow, that you may live, and inherit the land which the Lord your God gives you. 21. You shall not make a post idol of any trees near unto the altar of the Lord your God, which you shall make you. 22. Neither shall you set up any image, which the Lord your God hates. Chapter 17. Punishment for Worshipping Gods 
One you shall not sacrifice unto the Lord your God any bullock, or sheep, in which is a blemish, or any defect, for that is an abomination unto the Lord your God. 2. If there be found among you, within any of your gates which the Lord your God gives you, man or woman, that has done wickedness in the sight of the Lord your God, in transgressing his covenant, 3. And has gone and served other gods, and worshipped them, either the sun, or moon, or any of the host of heaven, which I have not commanded, 4. And it be told you, and you have heard of it, and inquired diligently, and, behold, it is true, and the thing certain, that such abomination has been done in Israel. 5. Then shall you bring forth that man or that woman, who has committed that wicked thing, unto your gates, even that man or that woman, and shall stone them with stones till they die. 6. At the mouth of two witnesses, or three witnesses, shall he that is worthy of death be put to death, but at the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death. 7. The hands of the witnesses shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people. So you shall put the evil away from among you. 8. If there arise a matter too hard for you in judgment, between bloodsheds, between legal rights, and between assaults, being matters of controversy within your gates, then shall you arise, and get you up into the place which the Lord your God shall choose. 9. And you shall come unto the priests the Levites, and unto the judge that shall be in those days, and inquire, and they shall show you the sentence of judgment. 10. And you shall do according to the sentence, which they of that place which the Lord shall choose shall show you. And you shall observe to do according to all that they inform you. 11. According to the sentence of the law which they shall teach you, and according to the judgment which they shall tell you, you shall do. You shall not decline from the sentence which they shall show you, to the right hand, nor to the left. 12. And the man that will act presumptuously, and will not hearken unto the priest that stands to minister there before the Lord your God, or unto the judge, even that man shall die, and you shall put away the evil from Israel. 13. And all the people shall hear, and fear, and act no more presumptuously. Law of the King 14. When you are come unto the land which the Lord your God gives you, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like all the nations that are about me. 15. You shall surely set him king over you, whom the Lord your God shall choose. One from among your brethren shall you set king over you. You may not set a stranger over you, who is not your brother. 16. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt, to the end that he should multiply horses, since as the Lord has said unto you, you shall return no more that way again. 17. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that his heart turn not away, neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. 18. And it shall be, when he sits upon the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write himself a copy of this law in a book out of that which is before the priests the Levites. 19. And it shall be with him, and he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his God, to keep all the words of this law and these statutes, to do them, twenty that his heart be not lifted up above his brethren, and that he turn not aside from the commandment, to the right hand, or to the left. To the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he, and his children, in the midst of Israel. Chapter 18 Law of the Priest and Prophet 1. The priests the Levites, and all the tribe of Levi, shall have no part nor inheritance with Israel, they shall eat the offerings of the Lord made by fire, as his inheritance. 2. Therefore shall they have no inheritance among their brethren, the Lord is their inheritance, as he has said unto them. 3. And this shall be the priests due from the people, from them that offer a sacrifice, whether it be ox or sheep, and they shall give unto the priest the shoulder, and the two jowls, and the stomach. For the first fruit also of your grain, of your wine, and of your oil, and the first of the fleece of your sheep, shall you give him. 5. For the Lord your God has chosen him out of all your tribes, to stand to minister in the name of the Lord, him and his sons forever. 6. And if a Levite come from any of your gates out of all Israel, where he sojourned, and come with all the desire of his mind unto the place which the Lord shall choose, 7. Then he shall minister in the name of the Lord his God, as all his brethren the Levites do, who stand there before the Lord. 8. They shall have equal portions to eat, besides that which comes of the sale of his family possessions. 9. When you are come into the land which the Lord your God gives you, you shall not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. 
Then there shall not be found among you any one that makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or sorcery, or interprets omens, or as a witch, eleven, or casts spells, or as a medium, or a wizard, or consults the dead. Twelve for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations the Lord your God does drive them out from before you. Thirteen you shall be perfect with the Lord your God. Fourteen for these nations, which you shall possess, hearkened unto sorcerers, and unto diviners, but as for you, the Lord your God has not allowed you so to do. Fifteen the Lord your God will raise up unto you a prophet from the midst of you, of your brethren, like unto me, unto him you shall hearken. 16 According to all that your desire of the Lord your God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see this great fire any more, that I die not. 17 And the Lord said unto me, They have well spoken that which they have spoken. 18 I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto you, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. 19 And it shall come to pass, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. 20 But the prophet, who shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. 21 And if you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? 22 When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing follows not, nor comes to pass, that is, the thing which the Lord has not spoken, but the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, you shall not be afraid of him. Chapter 19 Cities of Refuge 1. When the Lord your God has cut off the nations, whose land the Lord your God gives you, and you dispossess them, and dwell in their cities, and in their houses, 2. You shall set apart three cities for you in the midst of your land, which the Lord your God gives you to possess it. 3. You shall prepare you a way, and divide the territory of your land, which the Lord your God gives you to inherit, into three parts, that every manslayer may flee there. 4. And this is the case of the manslayer, who shall flee there, that he may live, whoever kills his neighbor unintentionally, whom he hated not in time past. 5. As when a man goes into the wood with his neighbor to hew wood, and his hand swings a stroke with the axe to cut down the tree, and the head slips from the handle, and strikes his neighbor, that he dies, he shall flee unto one of those cities, and live. 6. Lest the avenger of blood pursue the manslayer, while his anger is hot, and overtake him. Because the way is long, and slay him, whereas he was not worthy of death, inasmuch as he hated the victim not in time past. 7. Therefore I command you, saying, You shall set apart three cities for you. 8. And if the Lord your God enlarges your border, as he has sworn unto your fathers, and gives you all the land which he promised to give unto your fathers. 9. If you shall keep all these commandments to do them, which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God, and to walk always in his ways, then shall you add three more cities for you, besides these three. 10. That innocent blood be not shed in your land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance, and so blood be upon you. 11. But if any man hate his neighbor, and lie in wait for him, and rise up against him, and wounds him mortally that he dies, and flees into one of these cities, 12. Then the elders of his city shall send and bring him from there, and deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. 13. Your eye shall not pity him, but you shall put away the guilt of innocent blood from Israel, that it may go well with you. 14. You shall not remove your neighbor's landmark, which the men of old time have set, in your inheritance which you shall inherit in the land that the Lord your God gives you to possess it. Law of Witnesses 15. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity, or for any sin, in any sin that he sins, at the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall the matter be established. 16. If a false witness rises up against any man to testify against him that which is wrong, 17. Then both the men, between whom the controversy is, shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and the judges, who shall be in those days, 18. And the judges shall make diligent inquiry, and, behold, if the witness is a false witness, and has testified falsely against his brother, 19. Then shall you do unto him, as he had thought to have done unto his brother, so shall you put the evil away from among you. 
20 and those who remain shall hear, and fear, and shall hereafter commit no more any such evil among you. 21 and your eye shall not pity, but life shall go for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Chapter 20 Law of Battle 1. When you go out to battle against your enemies, and see horses, and chariots, and a people more than you, be not afraid of them, for the Lord your God is with you, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. 2. And it shall be, when you are come near unto the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, 3. And shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, you approach this day unto battle against your enemies, let not your hearts faint, Fear not, and do not tremble, neither be you terrified because of them, for for the Lord your God is he that goes with you, to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. 5 And the officers shall speak unto the people, saying, What man is there that has built a new house, and has not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man dedicate it. 6 And what man is he that has planted a vineyard, and has not yet eaten of it? Let him also go and return unto his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man eat of it. 7. And what man is there that has betrothed a wife, and has not taken her? Let him go and return unto his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man take her. 8. And the officers shall speak further unto the people, and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brethren's heart faint as well as his heart. 9 And it shall be, when the officers have finished speaking unto the people, that they shall make captains of the armies to lead the people. 10 When you come near unto a city to fight against it, then proclaim peace unto it. 11 And it shall be, if it makes to you an answer of peace, and opens unto you, then it shall be, that all the people that are found therein shall be subject unto you, and they shall serve you. 12 And if it will make no peace with you, but will make war against you, then you shall besiege it. 13 And when the Lord your God has delivered it into your hands, you shall strike every male in it with the edge of the sword. 14 But the women, and the little ones, and the cattle, and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof, shall you take unto yourself, and you shall eat the spoil of your enemies, which the Lord your God has given you. 15 Thus shall you do unto all the cities which are very far off from you, which are not of the cities of these nations. 16 But of the cities of these people, which the Lord your God does give you for an inheritance, you shall save alive nothing that breathes. 17 But you shall utterly destroy them, namely, the Hittites, and the Amorites, the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, as the Lord your God has commanded you. 18 That they teach you not to do according to all their abominations, which they have done unto their gods, so that you should sin against the Lord your God. 19 When you shall besiege a city a long time, in making war against it to take it, you shall not destroy the trees thereof by wielding an axe against them, for you may eat of them, and you shall not cut them down, for the tree of the field is man's life, to employ them in the siege. 20 Only the trees which you know will not be trees for food, you shall destroy and cut them down, and you shall build bulwarks against the city that makes war with you, until it is subdued. Chapter 21 Law of Unknown Murder 1 If one be found slain in the land which the Lord your God gives you to possess, lying in the field, and it is not known who has slain him, to then your elders and your judges shall come forth, and they shall measure unto the cities which are round about him that is slain, 3 And it shall be, that the city which is nearest unto the slain man, even the elders of that city shall take a heifer, which has never been worked, and which has not pulled in the yoke, 4 And the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer to a valley with flowing water which is neither ploughed nor sown, and shall break the heifer's neck there in the valley. 5 And the priests the sons of Levi shall come near, for them the Lord your God has chosen to minister unto him, and to bless in the name of the Lord, and by their word shall every controversy and every assault be tried. 6 And all the elders of that city, that are nearest unto the slain man, shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley. 7 And they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood. Neither have our eyes seen it. 8. Be merciful, O Lord, unto your people Israel, whom you have redeemed, and lay not innocent blood unto the charge of your people Israel. And the blood shall be forgiven them.
9 so shall you put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you when you shall do that which is right in the sight of the lord law of marriage then when you go forth to war against your enemies and the lord your god has delivered them into your hands and you have taken them captive 11 and see among the captives a beautiful woman and have a desire unto her that you would have her to be your wife 12 then you shall bring her home to your house and she shall shave her head and trim her nails 13 and she shall put the clothing of her captivity from off her and shall remain in your house and mourn her father and her mother a full month and after that you shall go in unto her and be her husband and she shall be your wife 14 and it shall be if you have no delight in her then you shall let her go where she will but you shall not sell her at all for money you shall not make merchandise of her because you have humiliated her 15 if a man has two wives one beloved and another hated and they have borne him children both the beloved and the hated and if the first born son be hers that was hated 16 then it shall be when he makes his sons to inherit that which he has that he may not make the son of the beloved first born before the son of the hated who is indeed the first born 17 but he shall acknowledge the son of the hated as the first born by giving him a double portion of all that he has for he is the beginning of his strength the right of the first born is his law of the rebellious son 18 if a man has a stubborn and rebellious son who will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother and when they have chastened him will not hearken unto them 19 then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place 20 and they shall say unto the elders of his city this our son is stubborn and rebellious he will not obey our voice he is a glutton and a drunkard 21 and all the men of his city shall stone him with stones so that he dies so shall your put evil away from among you and all israel shall hear and fear 22 and if a man has committed a sin worthy of death and he is to be put to death and you hang him on a tree 23 his body shall not remain all night upon the tree but you shall surely bury him that day for he that is hanged is a cursed of god winking face that your land be not defiled which the lord your god gives you for an inheritance Chapter 22 Law of the brother's property One you shall not see your brother's ox or his sheep go astray and withhold your help from them you shall certainly bring them again unto your brother Two and if your brother is not near unto you or if you know him not then you shall bring it unto your own house and it shall be with you until your brother seeks after it and you shall restore it to him again Three in like manner shall you do with his donkey and so shall you do with his clothing and with any lost thing of your brothers which he has lost and you have found shall you do likewise you may not withhold your help for you shall not see your brother's donkey or his ox fall down by the way and withhold your help from them you shall surely help him to lift them up again law of separations 5 the woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination unto the lord your god Six if a bird's nest happens to be before you in the way in any tree or on the ground whether they are young ones or eggs and the mother sitting upon the young or upon the eggs you shall not take the mother with the young seven but you shall surely let the mother go and take the young for yourself that it may be well with you and that you may prolong your days eight when you build a new house then you shall make a parapet for your roof that you bring not the guilt of blood upon your house if any man fall from there Nine, you shall not sow your vineyard with different seeds, lest the fruit of your seed which you have sown and the fruit of your vineyard be defiled. Ten, you shall not plow with an ox and a donkey together. Eleven, you shall not wear a garment of different sorts, as of woolen and linen together. Twelve, you shall make tassels upon the four corners of your cloak with which you cover yourself. Law of marriage. Thirteen, if any man takes a wife. and goes in unto her and hates her 14 and charges her with shameful conduct and brings an evil name upon her and says i took this woman and when i came to her i found her not a virgin 15 then shall the father of the young woman and her mother take and bring forth the evidence of the young woman's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate 16 and the young woman's father shall say unto the elders i gave my daughter unto this man as a wife and he hates her 
17 and, lo, he has charged her with shameful conduct, saying, I found not your daughter a virgin, and yet these are the evidence of my daughter's virginity. And they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. 18 and the elders of that city shall take that man and chastise him, 19 and they shall fine him a hundred shekels of silver, and give them unto the father of the young woman, because he has brought an evil name upon a virgin of Israel, and she shall be his wife, he may not put her away all his days. 20 but if this thing is true, and the evidence of virginity is not found for the young woman, 21 Then they shall bring out the young woman to the door of her father's house, and the men of her city shall stone her with stones so that she dies, because she has wrought folly in Israel, to play the harlot in her father's house, so shall you put evil away from among you. 22 If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, then they shall both of them die, both the man that lay with the woman, and the woman, so shall you put away evil from Israel. 23 If a young woman that is a virgin be betrothed unto a husband, and a man find her in the city, and lie with her, 24 Then you shall bring them both out unto the gate of that city, and you shall stone them with stones so that they die, the young woman, because she cried not, being in the city, and the man, because he has violated his neighbor's wife, so you shall put away evil from among you. 25 But if a man find a betrothed young woman in the field, and the man force her, and lie with her, then the man only that lay with her shall die. 26 But unto the young woman you shall do nothing, there is in the young woman no sin worthy of death, for as when a man rises against his neighbor, and slays him, even so as this matter. 27 For he found her in the field, and the betrothed young woman cried, and there was none to save her. 28 If a man find a young woman that is a virgin, who is not betrothed, and lay hold on her, and lie with her, and they be found, 29 Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the young woman's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he has violated her, he may not put her away all his days. 30 A man shall not take his father's wife, nor uncover his father's bed. Chapter 23 Law of Acceptance into the Congregation one he that is a eunuch by crushing or mutilation shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Two a man of illegitimate birth shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord, even to his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Three an Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord, even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. For because they met you not with bread and with water in the way, when you came forth out of Egypt, and because they hired against your Balaam the son of Beor of Pethor of Mesopotamia, to curse you. 5. Nevertheless the Lord your God would not hearken unto Balaam, but the Lord your God turned the curse into a blessing unto you, because the Lord your God loved you. 6. You shall not seek their peace nor their prosperity all your days forever. 7. You shall not abhor an Edomite, for he is your brother. You shall not abhor an Egyptian, because you were a stranger in his land. 8. The children that are begotten of them shall enter into the congregation of the Lord in their third generation. 9. When the army goes forth against your enemies, then keep yourself from every wicked thing. 10. If there be among you any man, that is unclean by reason of some occurrence in the night, then shall he go outside the camp, he shall not come inside the camp. 11. But it shall be. When evening comes on, he shall wash himself with water, and when the sun is down, he shall come into the camp again. 12. You shall have a place also outside the camp, where you shall go out, 13. And you shall have a stick with your weapons, and it shall be, when you will relieve yourself outside, you shall dig with it, and shall turn back and cover your refuse. 14. For the Lord your God walks in the midst of your camp, to deliver you, and to give up your enemies before you, therefore shall your camp be holy that he sees no unclean thing in you, and turns away from you. 15. You shall not deliver unto his master the servant who has escaped from his master unto you. 16. He may dwell with you, even among you, in that place which he shall choose within one of your gates, where it seems best to him, you shall not oppress him. 17. There shall be no harlot of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. 18. You shall not bring the wages of a harlot, or the price of a dog, into the house of the Lord your God for any vow, for even both of these are an abomination unto the Lord your God. 
19. You shall not charge interest to your brother, interest on money, interest on food, interest on anything that is lent for interest. 20. Unto a stranger you may lend for interest, but unto your brother you shall not lend for interest, that the Lord your God may bless you in all that you set your hand to in the land where you go to possess it. 21. When you shall vow a vow unto the Lord your God, you shall not delay to pay it, for the Lord your God will surely require it of you, and it would be sin to you. 22. But if you shall abstain to vow, it shall be no sin to you. 23. That which is gone out from your lips you shall keep and perform, even a freewill offering, according as you have vowed unto the Lord your God, which you have promised with your mouth. Laws of Harmony Among the Brethren 24. When you come into your neighbor's vineyard, then you may eat your fill of grapes at your own pleasure, but you shall not put any in your vessel. 25. When you come into the standing grain of your neighbor, then you may pluck the heads with your hand, but you shall not move a sickle unto your neighbor's standing grain. Chapter 24 Law Concerning Divorce 1. When a man has taken a wife, and married her, and it comes to pass that she finds no favor in his eyes, because he has found some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a bill of divorcement, and put it in her hand, and send her out of his house. 2. And when she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. 3. And if the latter husband hates her, and writes her a bill of divorcement, and puts it in her hand, and sends her out of his house, or if the latter husband dies, who took her to be his wife, for her former husband, who sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, after she is defiled, for that is abomination before the Lord, and you shall not cause the land to sin, which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance. 5. When a man has taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year, and shall bring happiness to his wife whom he has taken. 6. No man shall take the lower or the upper millstone in pledge, for he takes a man's living in pledge. 7. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel, and makes merchandise of him, or sells him, then the thief shall die, and you shall put evil away from among you. 8. Take heed in a plague of leprosy, that you observe diligently, and do according to all that the priests the Levites shall teach you, as I commanded them, so you shall observe to do. 9. Remember what the Lord your God did unto Miriam by the way, after you were come forth out of Egypt. 10. When you do lend your brother anything, you shall not go into his house to get his pledge. 11. You shall stand outside, and the man to whom you do lend shall bring out the pledge unto you. 12. And if the man be poor, you shall not sleep with his pledge. 13. In any case you shall deliver him the pledge again when the sun goes down, that he may sleep in his own clothing, and bless you, and it shall be righteousness unto you before the Lord your God. 14. You shall not oppress a hired servant that is poor and needy, whether he be of your brethren, or of your strangers that are in your land within your gates. 15. Each day you shall give him his hire, neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor, and sets his heart upon it, lest he cry against you unto the Lord, and it be sin unto you. 16. The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers, every man shall be put to death for his own sin. 17. You shall not pervert the justice due the stranger, nor the fatherless, nor take a widow's clothing as pledge. 18. But you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you from there. Therefore I command you to do this thing. 19. When you reap your harvest in your field, and have forgotten a sheaf in the field, you shall not go again to get it, it shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow, that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. 20. When you beat your olive tree, you shall not go over the boughs again, it shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. 21. When you gather the grapes of your vineyard, you shall not glean it afterward, it shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. 22. And you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, therefore I command you to do this thing. Chapter 25 Punishment to Wicked 1. If there is a controversy between men, and they come unto judgment, that the judges may judge them, then they shall justify the righteous, and condemn the wicked. 2. And it shall be, if the wicked man be worthy to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down, 
and to be beaten before his face, according to his fault, by a certain number. Three forty stripes he may give him, and not exceed, lest, if he should exceed, and beat him more than these with many stripes, then your brother should seem degraded unto you. Four you shall not muzzle the ox when it treads out the grain. Five if brethren dwell together, and one of them dies, and has no child, the wife of the dead shall not marry outside unto a stranger, her husband's brother shall go in unto her, and take her to him as wife, and perform the duty of a husband's brother unto her. Six and it shall be, that the firstborn that she bears shall succeed in the name of his brother who is dead, that his name be not put out of Israel. 7 And if the man desires not to take his brother's wife, then let his brother's wife go up to the gate unto the elders, and say, My husband's brother refuses to raise up unto his brother a name in Israel, he will not perform the duty of my husband's brother. 8 Then the elders of his city shall call him, and speak unto him, and if he stands to it, and says, I desire not to take her, 9 Then shall his brother's wife come unto him in the presence of the elders, and lose his shoe from off his foot, and speak in his face, and shall answer and say, So shall it be done unto that man that will not build up his brother's house. 10 And his name shall be called in Israel, the house of him that has his shoe loosed. 11 When men strive together one with another, and the wife of the one draws near for to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smites him, and puts forth her hand, and takes him by his private parts, twelve then you shall cut off her hand, your eye shall not pity her. Thirteen you shall not have in your bag differing weights, a great and a small. Fourteen you shall not have in your house differing measures, a great and a small. Fifteen but you shall have a perfect and just weight, a perfect and just measure shall you have, that your days may be lengthened in the land which the Lord your God gives you. 16 For all that do such things, and all that do unrighteously, are an abomination unto the Lord your God. 17 Remember what Amalek did unto you by the way, when you came forth out of Egypt. 18 How he met you by the way, and attacked those behind you, even all that were feeble behind you, when you were faint and weary, and he feared not God. 19 Therefore it shall be, when the Lord your God has given your rest from all your enemies round about, in the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance to possess it, that you shall blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, you shall not forget it. Chapter 26 Law of the Tithe 1 And it shall be, when you are come in unto the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance, and possess it, and dwell therein, too that you shall take of the first of all the fruit of the earth, which you shall bring of your land that the Lord your God gives you, and shall put it in a basket, and shall go unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose to place his name there. 3. And you shall go unto the priest that shall be in those days, and say unto him, I profess this day unto the Lord your God, that I am come unto the country which the Lord swore unto our fathers to give us. 4. And the priest shall take the basket out of your hand, and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God. 5 And you shall speak and say before the Lord your God, and Aramean ready to perish was my father, and he went down into Egypt, and sojourned there with a few, and became there a nation, great, mighty, and populous. 6 And the Egyptians mistreated us, and afflicted us, and laid upon us hard bondage. 7 And when we cried unto the Lord God of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice, and looked on our affliction, and our labor, and our oppression. 8 And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm, and with great terror, and with signs, and with wonders, nine and he has brought us into this place, and has given us this land, even a land that flows with milk and honey. Ten and now, behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land, which you, O Lord, have given me. And you shall set it before the Lord your God, and worship before the Lord your God, 11 And you shall rejoice in every good thing which the Lord your God has given unto you, and unto your house, you, and the Levite, and the stranger that is among you. 12 When you have finished tithing all the tithes of your increase the third year, which is the year of tithing, and have given it unto the Levite, the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, that they may eat within your gates, and be filled, 13 Then you shall say before the Lord your God, I have removed the sacred portion out of my house, and also have given them unto the Levite, and unto the stranger, to the fatherless, and to the widow, according to all your commandments which you have commanded me. I have not transgressed your commandments, neither have I forgotten them, 14 I have not eaten of it in my morning, 
neither have I taken away any of it for any unclean use, nor given any of it for the dead, but I have hearkened to the voice of the Lord my God, and have done according to all that you have commanded me. 15. Look down from your holy habitation, from heaven, and bless your people Israel, and the land which you have given us, as you swore unto our fathers, a land that flows with milk and honey. Vows between Israel and God. 16. This day the Lord your God has commanded you to do these statutes and judgments, you shall therefore keep and do them with all your heart, and with all your soul. 17. You have declared the Lord this day to be your God, and to walk in his ways, and to keep his statutes, and his commandments, and his judgments, and to hearken unto his voice. 18. And the Lord has declared you this day to be his peculiar people, as he has promised you, and that you should keep all his commandments. 19. And to make you high above all nations which he has made, in praise, and in name, and in honor, and that you may be a holy people unto the Lord your God, as he has spoken. Chapter 27 Building of the Altar 1. And Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. 2. And it shall be on the day when you shall pass over Jordan unto the land which the Lord your God gives you, that you shall set yourselves up great stones, and plaster them with plaster. 3. And you shall write upon them all the words of this law, when you are passed over, that you may go in unto the land which the Lord your God gives you, a land that flows with milk and honey, as the Lord God of your fathers has promised you. For therefore it shall be when you are gone over Jordan, that you shall set up these stones which I command you this day, in Mount Abel, and you shall plaster them with plaster. 5. And there shall you build an altar unto the Lord your God, an altar of stones, you shall not lift up any iron tool upon them. 6. You shall build the altar of the Lord your God of whole stones, and you shall offer burnt offerings on it unto the Lord your God. 7. And you shall offer peace offerings, and shall eat there, and rejoice before the Lord your God. 8. And you shall write upon the stones all the words of this law very plainly. Admonition to obey the law. 9. And Moses and the priests, the Levites, spoke unto all Israel, saying, Take heed, and hearken, O Israel, this day you are become the people of the Lord your God. Then you shall therefore obey the voice of the Lord your God, and do his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day. Proclamation of the Curses 11 And Moses charged the people the same day, saying, Twelve these shall stand upon Mount Gerizim to bless the people, when you are come over Jordan, Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Isachar, and Joseph, and Benjamin, 13 And these shall stand upon Mount Abel to curse, Reuben, Gad, and Asher, and Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. 14 And the Levites shall speak, and say unto all the men of Israel with a loud voice, 15 Cursed be the man that makes any graven or molten image, an abomination unto the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and puts it in a secret place. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. 16. Cursed be he that dishonors his father or his mother. And all the people shall say, Amen. 17. Cursed be he that removes his neighbor's landmark. And all the people shall say, Amen. 18. Cursed be he that makes the blind to wander out of the way. And all the people shall say, Amen. 19. Cursed be he that perverts the justice due the stranger, fatherless, and widow. And all the people shall say, Amen. 20. Cursed be he that lies with his father's wife, because he uncovers his father's bed. And all the people shall say, Amen. 21. Cursed be he that lies with any kind of animal. And all the people shall say, Amen. 22. Cursed be he that lies with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother. And all the people shall say, Amen. 23. Cursed be he that lies with his mother-in-law. And all the people shall say, Amen. 24. Cursed be he that attacks his neighbor secretly. And all the people shall say, Amen. 25. Cursed be he that takes a bribe to slay an innocent person. And all the people shall say, Amen. 26. Cursed be he that confirms not all the words of this law to do them. And all the people shall say, Amen. Chapter 28. The Promise of Blessings for Obedience. 1. And it shall come to pass, if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord your God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command you this day, 
that the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations of the earth, too and all these blessings shall come on you, and overtake you, if you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. 3. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. 4. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your herds, the increase of your cattle, and the flocks of your sheep. 5. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading trough. 6. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. 7. The Lord shall cause your enemies that rise up against you to be defeated before your face, they shall come out against you one way, and flee before your seven ways. 8. The Lord shall command the blessing upon you in your storehouses, and in all that you set your hand unto, and he shall bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. 9. The Lord shall establish you a holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto you, if you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God, and walk in his ways. 10. And all people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. 11. And the Lord shall make you bountiful in goods, in the fruit of your body, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give you. 12. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand, and you shall lend unto many nations, and you shall not borrow. 13. And the Lord shall make you the head, and not the tail, and you shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath, if that you hearken unto the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, to observe and to do them. 14. And you shall not go aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right hand, or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. The Promise of Curse for Disobedience 15. But it shall come to pass, if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon you, and overtake you. 16. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. 17. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading trough. 18. Cursed shall be the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your land, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your sheep. 19. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. 20. The Lord shall send upon your cursing, confusion, and rebuke in all that you set your hand unto to do, until you are destroyed, and until you perish quickly, because of the wickedness of your doings, by which you have forsaken me. 21. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto you, until he has consumed you from off the land, which you go to possess. 22. The Lord shall strike you with a consumption, and with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with fiery heat, and with the sword, and with blight, and with mildew, and they shall pursue you until you perish. 23. In your heaven that is over your head shall be bronze, and the earth that is under you shall be iron. 24. The Lord shall make the rain of your land powder and dust, from heaven shall it come down upon you, until you be destroyed. 25. The Lord shall cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You shall go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, and shall be a terror to all the kingdoms of the earth. 26. And your carcasses shall be food unto all fowls of the air, and unto the animals of the earth, and no man shall frighten them away. 27. The Lord will strike you with the boils of Egypt, and with tumors, and with the scab, and with the itch, of which you cannot be healed. 28. The Lord shall strike you with madness, and blindness, and confusion of mind. 29. And you shall grope at noonday, as the blind gropes in darkness, and you shall not prosper in your ways, and you shall be only oppressed and plundered continually, and no man shall save you. 30. You shall betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. You shall build a house, and you shall not dwell therein. You shall plant a vineyard, and shall not gather the grapes thereof. 31. Your ox shall be slain before your eyes, and you shall not eat thereof. Your donkey shall be violently taken away from before your face, and shall not be restored to you. Your sheep shall be given unto your enemies, and you shall have none to rescue them. 32. Your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people, and your eyes shall look, and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no strength in your hand. 33. The fruit of your land, and all your labors, shall a nation which you know not eat up, and you shall be only oppressed and crushed continually. 34. So that you shall be driven mad by the sight of your eyes which you shall see.
35 The Lord shall strike you in the knees, and in the legs, with painful boils that cannot be healed, from the sole of your foot unto the top of your head. 36 The Lord shall bring you, and your king which you shall set over you, unto a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known, and there shall you serve other gods, of wood and stone. 37 And you shall become a horror, a proverb, and a byword, among all nations where the Lord shall lead you. 38 You shall carry much seed out into the field, and shall gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. 39 You shall plant vineyards, and dress them, but shall neither drink of the wine, nor gather the grapes, for the bombs shall eat them. 40 You shall have olive trees throughout all your borders, but you shall not anoint yourself with the oil, for your olives shall drop off. 41 You shall beget sons and daughters, but you shall not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. 42 All your trees and fruit of your land shall the locust consume. 43 The stranger that is among you shall rise up above you higher and higher, and you shall come down lower and lower. 44 He shall lend to you, and you shall not lend to him, he shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. 45 Moreover all these curses shall come upon you, and shall pursue you, and overtake you, till you are destroyed, because you hearken not unto the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you, 46 and they shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder, and upon your descendants forever. 47 because you serve not the Lord your God with joyfulness, and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things, 48 therefore shall you serve your enemies which the Lord shall send against you, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck, until he has destroyed you. 49 The Lord shall bring a nation against you from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose tongue you shall not understand, 50 A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young, 51 And he shall eat the fruit of your cattle, and the fruit of your land, until you are destroyed, who also shall not leave you either grain, wine, or oil, or the increase of your cattle, or offspring of your sheep, until he has destroyed you. 52 And he shall besiege you in all your gates, until your high and fortified walls come down, in which you trusted, throughout all your land, and he shall besiege you in all your gates throughout all your land, which the Lord your God has given you. 53 And you shall eat the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons and of your daughters, which the Lord your God has given you, in the siege, and in the distress, with which your enemies shall distress you, 54 So that the man that is gentle among you, and very refined, his eye shall show no compassion toward his brother, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave behind, 55 So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Because he has nothing left him in the siege, and in the distress with which your enemies shall distress you in all your gates. 56 The gentle and refined woman among you, who would not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground because of her gentleness and refinement, her eye shall show no compassion toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, 57 And toward her afterbirth that comes out from between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for lack of all things secretly in the siege and distress, with which your enemy shall distress you in your gates. 58 If you will not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord your God, 59 Then the Lord will make your plagues abundant, and the plagues of your descendants, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and severe sicknesses, of long continuance. 60 Moreover he will bring upon you all the diseases of Egypt, which you were afraid of, and they shall cleave unto you. 61 Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon you, until you are destroyed. 62 And you shall be left few in number, whereas you were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because you would not obey the voice of the Lord your God. 63 And it shall come to pass, that is the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good, and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you, and to bring you to nothing, and you shall be plucked from off the land where you go to possess it. 64 And the Lord shall scatter you among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other 
and there you shall serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known, even wood and stone. 65 And among these nations shall you find no ease, neither shall the sole of your foot have rest, but the Lord shall give you there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. 66 And your life shall hang in doubt before you, and you shall fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of your life. 67 In the morning you shall say, Would God it were evening. And at evening you shall say, Would God it were morning. Because of the fear of your heart by which you shall fear, and because of the sight of your eyes which you shall see. 68 And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again in ships, by the way of which I spoke unto you, you shall see it no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies as male and female slaves, and no man shall buy you. Chapter 29 The Covenant is Founded on the Power of God 1. These are the words of the covenant, which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, besides the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. 2. And Moses called unto all Israel, and said unto them, You have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt unto Pharaoh, and unto all his servants, and unto all his land. 3. The great trials which your eyes have seen, the signs, and those great miracles. 4. Yet the Lord has not given you a heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, unto this day. 5. And I have led your forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes have not worn out upon you, and your shoes have not worn out upon your foot. 6. You have not eaten bread, neither have you drunk wine or strong drink, that you might know that I am the Lord your God. 7. And when you came unto this place, Sihon the king of Heshbon, and Og the king of Bashan, came out against us to battle, and we defeated them, ate and we took their land, and gave it for an inheritance unto the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half-tribe of Manasseh. 9. Keep therefore the words of this covenant, and do them, that you may prosper in all that you do. Participants in the Covenant Then you stand this day all of your before the Lord your God, your heads of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Israel, eleven your little ones, your wives, and your stranger that is in your camp, from the hewer of your wood unto the drawer of your water, twelve that you should enter into covenant with the Lord your God, and into his oath which the Lord your God makes with you this day, thirteen that he may establish your today for a people unto himself, and that he may be unto you a God. As he has said unto you, and as he has sworn unto your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. 14. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath. 15. But with him that stands here with us this day before the Lord our God, and also with him that is not here with us this day. The Scattering of Israel 16. For you know how we have dwelt in the land of Egypt, and how we came through the nations which you passed by. 17. And you have seen their abominations, and their idols wood and stone, silver and gold, which were among them smiley face, eighteen lest there should be among you a man, or woman, or family, or tribe, whose heart turns away this day from the Lord our God, to go and serve the gods of these nations, lest there should be among you a root that bears bitterness or wormwood, nineteen and it comes to pass, when he hears the words of this curse, that he blesses himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the imagination of my heart, to add drunkenness to thirst, twenty the Lord will not spare him, but then the anger of the Lord and his jealousy shall smoke against that man, and all the curses that are written in this book shall lie upon him, and the Lord shall blot out his name from under heaven. Twenty one and the Lord shall separate him unto evil out of all the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in this book of the Lord. 22 So that the generation to come of your children that shall rise up after you, and the stranger that shall come from a far land, shall say, When they see the plagues of that land, and the sicknesses which the Lord has laid upon it, 23 And that the whole land thereof is brimstone, and salt, and burning, that it is not sown, nor does it bear. Nor any grass grows therein, like the overthrow of Sodom, and Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim, which the Lord overthrew in his anger, and in his wrath. 24 Even all nations shall say, Why has the Lord done thus unto this land? What does the heat of this great anger mean? 25 Then men shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord God of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. 26 For they went and served other gods, and worshipped them, gods whom they knew not, 
and whom he had not given unto them. 27 And the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land, to bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. 28 And the Lord rooted them out of their land in anger, and in wrath, and in great indignation, and cast them into another land, as it is this day. 29 The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Chapter 30 the Restoration of Israel 1. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon you, the blessing and the curse, which I have said before you, and you shall call them to mind among all the nations, where the Lord your God has driven you, to and shall return unto the Lord your God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command you this day, you and your children, with all your heart, and with all your soul, three that then the Lord your God will return you from captivity, and have compassion upon you, and will return and gather you from all the nations. Where the Lord your God has scattered you. For if any of you are driven out unto the farthest parts of heaven, from there will the Lord your God gather you, and from there will he bring you, 5. And the Lord your God will bring you into the land which your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it, and he will do you good, and multiply you above your fathers. 6. And the Lord your God will circumcise your heart, and the heart of your descendants, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, that you may live. 7. And the Lord your God will put all these curses upon your enemies, and on them that hate you, who persecuted you. 8. And you shall return and obey the voice of the Lord, and do all his commandments which I command you this day. 9. And the Lord your God will make you abound in every work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, and in the fruit of your cattle, and in the fruit of your land, for good, for the Lord will again rejoice over you for good, as he rejoiced over your fathers. 10. If you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God, to keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of the law, and if you turn unto the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul. Sealing the Covenant 11. For this commandment which I command you this day, it is not hidden from you, neither is it far off. 12. It is not in heaven, that you should say, Who shall go up for us to heaven, and bring it unto us, that we may hear it, and do it. 13. Neither is it beyond the sea, that you should say, Who shall go over the sea for us, and bring it unto us, that we may hear it, and do it. 14. But the word is very near unto you, in your mouth, and in your heart, that you may do it. 15. See, I have set before you this day life and good, and death and evil. 16. In that I command you this day to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that you may live and multiply, and the Lord your God shall bless you in the land where you go to possess it. 17. But if your heart turns away, so that you will not hear, but shall be drawn away, and worship other gods, and serve them, 18. I declare unto you this day, that you shall surely perish, and that you shall not prolong your days upon the land, which you pass over Jordan to go to possess. 19. I call heaven and earth as witness this day against you, that I have said before your life and death, blessing and cursing, therefore choose life, that both you and your descendants may live. 20. That you may love the Lord your God, and that you may obey his voice, and that you may cleave unto him, for he is your life, and the length of your days, that you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Chapter 31 Moses Charges Joshua and Israel 1 And Moses went and spoke these words unto all Israel. 2 And he said unto them, I am a hundred and twenty years old this day, I can no more go out and come in, also the Lord has said unto me, You shall not go over this Jordan. 3 The Lord your God, he will go over before you, and he will destroy these nations from before you, and you shall possess them, and Joshua, he shall go over before you, as the Lord has said. 4 And the Lord shall do unto them as he did to Sihon and to Og, kings of the Amorites, and unto their land, when he destroyed them. 5 And the Lord shall give them up before your face, that you may do unto them according unto all the commandments which I have commanded you. 6 Be strong and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them, for the Lord your God, he it is that does go with you, he will not fail you, nor forsake you. 7 And Moses called unto Joshua, and said unto him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and of a good courage, for you must go with this people unto the land which the Lord has sworn unto their fathers to give them, and you shall cause them to inherit it.
8 And the Lord, He it is that does go before you, He will be with you, He will not fail you, neither forsake you, fear not, neither be dismayed. 9 And Moses wrote this law, and delivered it unto the priests the sons of Levi, who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and unto all the elders of Israel. 10 And Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the solemnity of the year of release, in the Feast of Tabernacles, 11 When all Israel has come to appear before the Lord your God in the place which he shall choose, you shall read this law before all Israel in their hearing. 12 Gather the people together, men, and women, and children, and your stranger that is within your gates, that they may hear, and that they may learn, and fear the Lord your God, and observe to do all the words of this law. 13 And that their children, who have not known anything, may hear, and learn to fear the Lord your God, as long as you live in the land which you go over Jordan to possess. God charges Israel. 14 And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, your days approach that you must die, call Joshua, and present yourselves in the tabernacle of meeting, that I may give him a charge. And Moses and Joshua went, and presented themselves in the tabernacle of meeting. 15 And the Lord appeared in the tabernacle in a pillar of a cloud, and the pillar of the cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. 16 And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, you shall sleep with your fathers, and this people will rise up, and go play the harlot after the gods of the strangers of the land, where they go to be among them, and will forsake me, and break my covenant which I have made with them. 17 Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? 18 And I will surely hide my face in that day because of all the evils which they shall have done, in that they are turned unto other gods. 19 Now therefore write this song for you, and teach it to the children of Israel, put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. 20 For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swore unto their fathers, that flows with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves, and grown fat, then will they turn unto other gods, and serve them, and provoke me, and break my covenant. 21 And it shall come to pass, when many evils and troubles are befallen them, that this song shall testify against them as a witness, for it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their descendants, for I know their imagination which they go about, even now, before I have brought them into the land which I swore. The Book of the Law Deposited in the Ark 22 Moses therefore wrote this song the same day, and taught it to the children of Israel. 23 And he gave Joshua the son of Nun a charge, and said, Be strong and of a good courage, for you shall bring the children of Israel into the land which I swore unto them, and I will be with you. 24 And it came to pass, when Moses had finished writing the words of this law in a book, until they were finished, 25 That Moses commanded the Levites, who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord, saying, 26 Take this book of the law, and put it by the side of the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for a witness against you. 27 For I know your rebellion, and your stubbornness, behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, you have been rebellious against the Lord, and how much more after my death. 28 Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes, and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, and call heaven and earth as witness against them. 29 For I know that after my death you will utterly corrupt yourselves, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you, and evil will befall you in the latter days, because you will do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. 30 And Moses spoke in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song, until they were ended. Chapter 32 The Song of Moses 1 Give ear, O you heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. 2 My teaching shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. 3 Because I will proclaim the name of the Lord, Ascribe your greatness unto our God. For he is the rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. 5. They have corrupted themselves, their blemish is not the blemish of his children, they are a perverse and crooked generation. 6. Do you thus repay the Lord, 
O foolish people and unwise! Is not he your father that has bought you? Has he not made you, and established you? 7. Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will show you, your elders, and they will tell you. 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. 9. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. 10. He found him in a desert land, and in the wasteland of the howling wilderness. He led him about, he instructed him, he kept him as the apple of his eye. 11. As an eagle stirs up its nest, flutters over its young, spreads abroad its wings, takes them, bears them on its wings. 12. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. 13. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields, and he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock, 14 curds of the cattle, and milk of the flock, with fat of lambs, and rams of the breed of Bashan, and goats with the finest of the wheat, and you did drink the pure blood of the grape. 15. But Jeshurun grew fat, and kicked, you are grown fat, you are grown thick, you are covered with fatness, then he forsook God who made him, and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. 16. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations they provoked him to anger. 17. They sacrificed unto demons, not to God, two gods whom they knew not, two new gods that came in of late, whom your fathers feared not. 18. Of the rock that begat you you are unmindful, and have forgotten God that formed you. 19. And when the Lord saw it, he abhorred them, because of the provoking of his sons, and of his daughters. 20. And he said, I will hide my face from them, I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very perverse generation, children in whom is no faith. 21. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God, they have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those who are not a people, I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger, and shall burn unto the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with its increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. 23. I will heap evils upon them, I will spend my arrows upon them. 24. They shall be wasted with hunger, and devoured with burning heat, and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of animals upon them, with the poison of serpents of the dust. 25. The sword outside, and terror within, shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the nursing child also with the man of grey hairs. 26. I said, I would scatter them into corners, I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. 27. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should misunderstand, and lest they should say, A hand has triumphed, and the Lord has not done all thus. 28. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. 29. Oh that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. 30. How should one chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them, and the Lord had given them up. 31. For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. 32. For their wine is of the wine of Sodom, and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. 33. Their wine is the poison of serpents, and the cruel venom of asps. 34. Is not this laid up in store with me, and sealed up among my treasures? 35. To me belongs vengeance, and recompense, their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. 36. For the Lord shall judge his people, and have compassion on his servants, when he sees that their power is gone, and there is none left, slave or free. 37. And he shall say, Where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted? 38. Who did eat the fat of their sacrifices, and drank the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise up and help you, and be your protection. 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no god besides me. I kill, and I make alive, I wound, and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. 44. I lift up my hand to heaven, and say, as I live forever. 41. If I wet my glittering sword, and my hand takes hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies, and will reward them that hate me. 
42 I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives, from the heads of the leaders of the enemy. 43 Rejoice, O your nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be merciful unto his land, and to his people. 44 And Moses came and spoke all the words of the song in the ears of the people, he and Joshua the son of Nun. 45 And Moses finished speaking all these words to all Israel. 46 And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which you shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law. 47 For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life, and through this thing you shall prolong your days in the land, which you go over Jordan to possess. God commands Moses to ascend Mount Nebo. 48 And the Lord spoke unto Moses that very same day, saying, 49 Get you up into this mountain Abarim, unto Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, that is opposite Jericho, and behold the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for a possession. 50 And die in the mount which you go up, and be gathered unto your people, as Aaron your brother died in Mount Hor, and was gathered unto his people. 51 Because you trespassed against me among the children of Israel at the waters of Meribah Kadesh. In the wilderness of Zin, because you hallowed me not in the midst of the children of Israel. 52 Yet you shall see the land before you, but you shall not go there unto the land which I give the children of Israel. Chapter 33 Moses blesses the tribes of Israel. 1 And this is the blessing, with which Moses the man of God blessed the children of Israel before his death. 2 And he said, The Lord came from Sinai, and rose up from Seir unto them, he shined forth from Mount Pran, and he came with ten thousands of saints, from his right hand went a fiery law for them. 3 Here, he loved the people, all his saints are in your hand, and they sat down at your feet, everyone shall receive of your words. 4 Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. 5 And he was king in Jeshurun when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. 6. Let Reuben live, and not die, and let not his men be few. 7. And this is the blessing of Judah, and he said, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people, let his hands be sufficient for him, and be a help to him from his enemies. 8. And of Levi he said, Let your Thamim and your Urim be with your Holy One, whom you did test at Massa, and with whom you did strive at the waters of Meribah. 9 Who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew his own children, for they have observed your word, and kept your covenant. 10 They shall teach Jacob your judgments, and Israel your law, they shall put incense before you, and hold burnt sacrifice upon your altar. 11 Bless, Lord, his substance, and accept the work of his hands, strike the loins of them that rise against him, and of them that hate him, that they rise not again. 12 And of Benjamin he said, The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, and the Lord shall cover him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. 13 And of Joseph he said, Blessed of the Lord be his land, with the precious things of heaven, with the dew and the deep lying beneath. 14 And with the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and with the precious things put forth by the moon. 15 And with the chief things of the ancient mountains, and with the precious things of the lasting hills. 16 And with the precious things of the earth and the fullness thereof, and the goodwill of him that dwelt in the bush, let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph, and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. 17 His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of a wild ox, with them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. 18 And of Zebulun he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in your going out, and, Isachar, in your tents. 19 They shall call the people unto the mountain, there they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall partake of the abundance of the seas, and of treasures hid in the sand. 20 And of Gad he said, Blessed be he that enlarges Gad, he dwells as a lion, and tears the arm and the crown of the head. 21 And he provided the first part for himself, because there, with the portion of a lawgiver, was he seated, and he came with the heads of the people, he executed the justice of the Lord, and his judgments with Israel.
22 one of dawn he said dawn is a lion's well he shall leap from bashan 23 and of naphtali he said o naphtali satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of the lord possess you the west and the south 24 and of asher he said let asher be blessed with children let him be acceptable to his brethren and let him dip his foot in oil 25 your shoes shall be iron and bronze and as your days so shall your strength be 26 there is none like unto the god of jeshurun who rides upon the heaven to your help and in his excellency on the clouds 27 the eternal god is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms and he shall thrust out the enemy from before you and shall say destroy them 28 israel then shall dwell in safety alone the fountain of jacob shall be upon a land of grain and wine also his heavens shall drop down dew 29 happy are you o israel who has like unto you o people saved by the lord the shield of your help and who is the sword of your excellency and your enemies shall submit unto you and you shall tread upon their high places chapter 34 moses surveys the promised land One and Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo to the top of Pisgah that is opposite Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan to and all Naphtali and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh and all the land of Judah unto the western sea three and the south and the plain of the valley of Jericho the city of palm trees unto Zoph. Four and the Lord said unto him this is the land which I swore unto Abraham unto Isaac and unto Jacob saying I will give it unto your descendants I have caused you to see it with your eyes but you shall not go over there Moses dies in his mound Five so Moses the servant of the Lord died there in the land of Moab according to the word of the Lord Six and he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab opposite Beth Peor but no man knows of his grave unto this day Seven and Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Eight and the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. Joshua takes the place of Moses. Nine and Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Moses as extolled in Israel. Then and there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, eleven in all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land, twelve and in all that mighty power and in all the great terror which Moses did in the sight of all Israel.